What's up everybody, this is Doug Jenkins from iMixandMaster.com back with another gear shootout. As you can see we're using the SSL dynamic module and you can see that the gate is on. To go through this thing real quick, you have your ratio threshold, you can actually let it detect peak, fast attack, which you can have that activated so it's a real quick attack uh, and then you can set your release. We can deactivate that. I'm going to show you something I did to these drums, show you the, the difference. Um, expander, gate and expander. Here's your range, your threshold, your release, and then the hold of the gate. So I'll show you how the gate works first. Check it out. So we got the gate working on this sample. It's a little louder. Without the gate. A lot more kick with the gate on. A little pumping and I'm doing this on purpose so if we want to get rid of that probably something around there really gated just for the video purposes people video purposes let's turn it off let's turn it back on before I blow something but that's how much that's controlling that um so what we have in this video so i can set it up i actually have the bus compressor running just to give everything a little more volume i got the threshold all the way out i don't want it to be affecting the video i want to go through a few different samples here and there and go through the different presets on this let's uh set the gate all the way back let's activate this let's turn that off so all the way to the left is pretty much the gate's doing nothing. What the gate is really cool for, man, is like kicks, snares, uh, vocals to take out, you know, and just clean up the tracks, uh, create uh, better transients. It's almost, a lot of people overlook gates when they first get into engineering. What a gate can do is really shape the sound to fit the speakers. So if you're, you know, you're trying to get a tighter bass kick combo, it might just be as simple as gating the kick drum. And now you have this kick that sounds a little bit smaller between the speakers, a little more punchy. Uh, I had a gentleman on um, asking a question about a snare drum, and I said you could EQ it and maybe add some more snap to it. Even gating that s the, the snare drum a little bit would create a different sense of space and time on that snare. So let's mess around with this. I'm going to mess with the threshold. I'm going to take it all the way to the left. Then I'm going to take the release all the way to the shortest and then the longest. You can tell between this and the bus, this can really hammer a sound. Actually, it might be a cool effect for somebody. Not me, though. All the way off, you can hear the bass just killing your laptop speakers. That'd be control. Same sound, more control. Very controlled, long release. Let's take off fast, a fast attack. Even smoother sounding. Let's take off peak. Punchy. Pure Nas hip hop. Letting the snare drum come out a little. Really letting the snare drum hit. Now if we gated that, check this out. So that's some drums. Here's some drums without any, uh, not too much bass in them. See, like something like this kind of sound, you can really get away with hammering it with compression and then really turn it up. Check that out.
And then if you turn it off, listen. It's just weak. Let's move on to some some elongated stuff, like a sample or something. Let's set all this back to zero. Let's enable this. Let's turn this on. Watch how I can control this sound so easy. movie style right there. And honestly what I would do before that, let me just grab an EQ real quick, just, uh, just a basic plug-in EQ. Um, let's do the stock one that comes with Pro Tools. And let's just EQ out some of the, the lower muffle. <laughs> some of that. So something like that, pretty cool, huh? Let's turn it off. What a compressor like this does, it's, it's a little better in the tracking stage, but let me open up um, just the full track here while you guys are still in the video and mess around with that turn down the mix watch how this controls the bass Brian Heiss all on the trip not too much. See how it's evened out? Now it sounds real hollow, almost. Sweet. Which one would you rather uh, rap over? This one or this one? Let's try to gate it. No gate going on because there's nothing to gate. It's so even already. Ryan Heisel on the trip. Let's bring some kick to it with the bust. Like it. So as a track compressor or a stem piece, we do a lot of stem mi mixes, masters with this, and we'll put this on drum buses, bass, uh, vocals. We've had a lot of success on vocals actually because a lot of vocals come in and they're real fat sounding. But we want to control the fatness. You know, if you use a great preamp, we want to, it's almost like hit the manly stuff and then hit this just to tighten it up. And we can use the release and the attacks and understand the gate to create this new sound to it. So if you're out here, this is the XR728. Uh, Compared to the bus compressor, it's, it's a different kind of uh, compression. This is more along the lines of individual stuff. Or like we're doing right now, we could use it almost as a peak limiter. So we could go like infinite and then do this and then I'm going to get out of here. 
Obviously, in these videos, we can definitely be EQing. So, in like a stem situation, we might have this EQ in this dynamic module on one stem, the bus in the in the massive on one stem, the manly on one stem, and so forth. So, yeah, this piece can be used in, in on the two bus, but obviously, the the two bus is better the uh, the SSL bus compressor. But in the case of this, this is really great. Uh, I've used it so many times. So, if you could get one of these. This is about half the cost of this, but yeah, if you can get one of these, go for it. This is the stereo version, same with the EQ. So we built our studio to be able to do two bus stuff. Uh, a lot of guys have had success sending us like, you know, drum stem or a guitar stem, and we can we can just tighten it up. So if you're looking for that tight punch, pop, rock, hip hop, even you know, as far as it doesn't matter what style we can pick and choose the piece of equipment for it it's almost like picking and choosing a microphone for the appropriate you know the appropriate vocal it's the same thing with engineering and the better you get at this kind of stuff i wanted you guys to hear this on samples if you like the sound of that you know this might be the ticket for you if you're if you're doing a lot of your own production to have a few of these sitting in your rack yeah you can get about anything you want i, I just wanted to do basic gate expander uh, peak fast attack ratio threshold and release i just wanted to do the basics so i'll leave you with this let's go back to the drums pump it one more time let's do the big boy really hammer it man before i get out of here let's see how much we can hammer it without you hearing it 